Film fans of YouTube, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, I am the Movie Apprentice, and today I am looking at Wicked Little Letters, which comes out in the UK this coming Friday. But is this film all vulgarity comedy, or is there something a bit more behind the foul-mouthed surface? Before I get into my review, if you like what you're seeing on our channel, click that like button and subscribe for more video reviews like this coming all the time. Without further ado, let's get into this review. Directed by Fia Sharrock, this follows the tale of a woman that is receiving many nasty letters that she assumes is coming from her neighbour, albeit manipulated a little bit by her abusive father. But as the situation starts to escalate into a potential jail term for the foul-mouthed neighbour, a young woman police officer, as she so often mentions in the movie, goes out of her way to try and prove the innocence of this woman and find the real culprit that has sent these wicked little letters. This film has been marketed in trailers for a few months now. I can't remember the last time I went to the cinema that I didn't see this movie getting advertised. I feel like it has taken a while to come out. And for me, this is very much carried by the performances of Olivia Coleman and Jesse Buckley. Coleman and Buckley truly elevate what is a very bare bones script that does suffer a little bit from the fact that it has been slightly mismarketed as the trailer presents a movie that is a vulgar comedy and nothing more, which might jar a few people as it does come to fruition that there is actually a fair bit of drama in this from a manipulative father to social services and childcare to the fact that people have to lie in order to fit in in a community there are more dramatic moments than you would expect from this movie. There are a lot of laugh out loud funny moments in this, just in the pure unfiltered vulgarity of the entire piece. And there is one particular rant that comes at the very end of the film that feels very cathartic and is probably the highest I have laughed all year so far when it comes to new releases. Olivia Coleman, as usual, she is just great. Her charisma always comes through no matter what film she's in. Even the stuff that I have not liked by her, she has genuinely always been the standout when it comes to those movies. And seeing her play this person that's given off a facade of being someone who is timid and shy and noble and humble, but hiding that layer of enjoying the attention that she is getting from the press as being the victim of these letters. It is a great little sequence, but also seeing her become more timid whenever her father, played by Timothy Spall, comes into the picture. Those are some very tense moments, actually, and really pulls the film back from its vulgar, sweary, comedic sense to really focus on the time period, because this is set during the midst of World War I from some casual mentions of dialogue. So the way that the world and men saw women at the time was very bad, to put it mildly. And the way Timothy Spall performs this absolute slimy in the vigil, there's two kinds of men in this movie. The one side, that just kind of these amusing goofballs that are complete idiots that are still sexist, but not aggressively so. And then you have characters like Timothy Spall's one, which are very much know your place and manipulative to the point that some individuals are definitely going to relate to it on an unfortunate level, I am afraid. Jesse Buckley as well is having a whale of a time as this Irish immigrant that has come to this neighborhood with her daughter to start a fresh new life. The way she goes around town and is just the life of the party and just absolutely lives a free life whilst also being, first and foremost, a mother to her daughter. I like that dynamic of the character, because the character could have been very one note, and the script at times does put at great risk of being one note, but on those rare occasions where they have to have a more emotional or dramatic scene with the character, I feel like Jessie Buckley does do a good job to really flesh out her character. And Jana Fasan as well, she has some of the more interesting comedic elements in this. Her performance in this very much reminded me of Saoirse Ronan's performance in See How They Run, in the fact she is very enthusiastic about a job, but the way people perceive her as a woman police officer in this time period means she has to bottle up all the anger and energy when it comes to investigating it, and she carries this professional manner but there is a sense of she's wanting to express herself a lot more and she is slowly given 
more and more of an opportunity to do that. Some of the more amusing moments when it comes to her character is when she is conspiring with the friends of our two lead characters in order to get to the bottom of what is happening and trying to catch individuals red-handed in the act. There are a number of colorful side characters in this that really help build the foundations within the film and everyone has their own stamp and own bit of memory to apply to the film. I will say that all these characters can be a bit one note, but in the context of the film, when they are not the centerpiece, they work as these one note characters because they at least have an emotional connection to the ones leading the way. So that I really did enjoy. Considering that I did laugh a fair bit, there are a number of extended sequences where I didn't laugh too much and the dramatic scenes sometimes became very mellow dramatic for me. I get they were trying to go for some emotional stakes, but it has led to the fact that this film has come across with a mixed tonal shift. And sometimes a mix of tones can work. I like a comedy that can have its serious moments, but this one doesn't quite hit the levels that I feel like it needs to, to really fit into the mold of great comedies that also blended great drama in there. It sometimes struggles to the side or wants to be dramatic or funny in the very same scene that it's in, and it becomes a bit muddled at that stage. Before I get into my overall grade, if you like what we're seeing on the channel so far, click the like button and subscribe for more video reviews that's coming all the time. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a film review. I've been very busy with my day job recently, but we're about to get more reviews out and I'll hopefully be seeing Bob Marley and Madam Web tomorrow. And maybe I'll give my late thoughts to them. Let me know you want to see them down in the comments below. Wicked Little Letters is an unapologetic comedy when it comes to its vulgarity. It's very unfiltered and highly British in its creativity when it comes to the language used. Some great laughs. But on the flip side, where it tries to go into a more dramatic side of things and gets into some serious backstory stuff, it can be a jarring shift from the over-the-top vulgar language that is causing everyone to go in hysterics. It is a very jumbled story in that sense. Overall, I'm going to have a say that Wicked Little Letters is an okay cup of tea. So Wicked Little Letters, have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Let me know, did you enjoy the dramatic bits or were you all about the effing and jeffing that comes throughout the film's runtime? Let me know in the comments. Coming up on the channel, obviously Master of the Year, I am still continuing to review those and I might do a very late review of One Love or Madam Web, depending on if people want to see those or not. But until next time, everybody, I am Josh. I have been your movie apprentice, and I'll see you all in the next video.